Hello, and welcome to Conservation Skills in 10 Minutes or Less. This series of short, skill-based videos is brought to you by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's National Conservation Training Center in Shepherdstown, West Virginia. If you have a couple of minutes, pull up a chair and pick up a new conservation skill or maybe refresh an old one on topics ranging from fish culture to bird identification to stream restoration. Enjoy. So we've been talking a lot about stepping up our algae cultures from small systems to larger systems. We started out with the slants, went to the flask a little bit bigger, went to the carboy a little bit bigger. If you're a facility that really needs a lot of algae, say you've got a large number of juvenile mussels that you need to feed or you're holding adults for broodstock, you might even need to take it one step further. And there are several options out there. This is just one option, it's called a photobioreactor and it just cultures algae at a much larger scale. You can see we have this housed out in a greenhouse where it gets plenty of light. The, the cool thing about these systems is it's a semi-continuous harvest system, so you can add new media to the system and harvest algae from it without opening it to the environment. So it continues to stay in that uni-algal culture environment, but you can still harvest. The other systems we talked about, the flask cultures and the carboy cultures, are batch harvests. So once it grows up, it's dense enough that you want to harvest, you have to harvest the system and then you got to start all over again. You got to tear it down, you have to sterilize it, and you have to re-inoculate it and wait for it to grow. This just keeps going continuously. And in some cases, we've had these going for an entire year with a species and just harvesting over time. And you can also harvest very large volumes at a time. So if you have that need for large amounts of algae to feed mussels, large culture systems like this might be something that you want to think about. Thanks again for joining us for Conservation Skills in 10 Minutes or Less. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like or hit the subscribe button, share this video with a friend, or even check out one of the many other skill-based videos we have in this series. Have a great day, and always remember, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you.